Hi, good day guys. I just want to do the start modeling exercise that we did in class for engineering design on a Friday. Some students were getting problems to model. So this is just me doing a video so you could follow along. Once you have the handout, everything should be fine. Alright, so we start a new project. Call it a start model space foot kilo pound next. Add beam, finish. I would like to model this in the YZ direction. Okay, um, in the Y direction, I will have a two space at 12.5 feet. And in the Z direction, I will have two spaced at 30 feet. I got this from the front. Um, we could exit out this. Oops, actually, don't exit out. We could create the beam. So we have from here to here to here. Escape. From here to here to here. From here to here to here. Using the node selector, this node should be 31. Because it's 12.5, 25 plus 6 is 31. Then we could draw a beam from here to here. Um, cancel. Shift. And from here to here. Okay. These are the end beams. Now I could copy. Whoops. I have some beams running at the bottom. So. How many beams? So now we could make a copy of this in the X direction. Um, we will copy it. If you look at the plans here. We will cut it one, two, three, four at twenty-four feet, and um, we will link the steps. We have an open piece. Press OK. Right. Shift. Now, let's this on the side here. Actually, from this here. These, um, this control, this not supposed to be there, I should press delete. Okay. Um, if you look at it in elevation view, elevation view, the middle base has no columns, so this one, this one, this one, you can delete it. As well as the bottom base and up here. Okay. So so far so good. Now if I made an error, I will um is it a direction Keys, you could rotate up, down, just to double check. Okay, um, it looks good. If I made an error, I can make minor changes. Now, the next step <coughs> is to create the properties by clicking by the, this icon here, property page, um, section database.
W ten by a hundred add and W uh, what it was W sixteen by thirty six. Add that. You also have um, rectangular beams and columns to add. So there was a one by one foot, and there was a one point two to add as well. We also had pipe section made of this. So we also had a pipe. That's um, 40 schedule pipe. Press add, close. We also have thickness um, 10 inches. Now instead of um, trying to calculate what 10 inches is in feet, I can easily just change this to inches temporarily. Temporarily, change just to 10. Press add, close, and make sure that I go back to feet. Right? So the plate thickness when you edit it is 0 0.8333 close. Bam 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 bam. Alright, so let's start assigning. Let's just start assigning um let's start assigning the properties. So um, let's start with making a section cut. But just the top because um, this as well control control has to be deleted yes okay I think so I'm trying to remember how this looks control C control C I'm not sure how this is supposed to look, I will delete as I go along. Okay, anyway, um, as I was saying, I'll make a uh, section cut through the first and the roof. Select a view, view highlight, okay. And you can look at this like this, right. And then go to W1000 was the vertical columns. So go to select. Beams parallel to the y direction. We say assign to select the beams assign. Yes. And then we come to 16 by 36. Select beams parallel to the x. Select beams parallel to the z. Um, as holding on the control key, select all the Roofing, framing. Everything is selected. Let's assign. Yes. Um, let's look at that in 3D. Uh, I think that's what it's supposed to look. Yeah. Um, this is the first one. This is the roof. And this is the ground floor. Okay. The process button to get back in full view. Going out to the ground floor now. This is the first floor, this is the ground floor. This is. Let us. Let me just check. The first floor is. Let's take another to navigate. First floor is zero zero. So this is actually the first floor. This is actually the roof level. Twelve point five. So this is actually the first floor. Okay, now we have to model in the ground floor. Um, so side view, using a cursor, a node selector, you can copy that down. 
12, negative 12.5 feet. Um, do we want to link this up? So we'll link it. If not, then we will just delete. We'll look at that in 3D. All right, let me create a section of that through this floor. Oops, let's go here. Put this section card, select a view. Look at the top view. Okay. Let's create some, let's create some beams. So from here to here, from here to here. That is a treaty. Alright, that's fine. All right, great. That's it. Alright, um, so in the property page, select the columns first. Right? And then you go to select beams parallel to the Y position. Assign. Yes. And then for the beams, I'm sorry, the horizontal beams. Beams parallel to the X. Select. Parallel to the Z, and we'll say that. Always remember to select the section first, and select the section first, and then select the beams that you want to change, and then press assign. It's always easier like that. Um, let's look at this in 3D. Right. So all now I have to do is ensure that these columns are still, and it seems like I'm okay. Yeah. They are still so. I wonder if I have. Should be okay. Yeah. Let's, let's look at this from the front view. I'm sorry. Um, so these are. Let's go this one better. Right. From the side view. I'm not sure. If this should be there, but um, these are steel columns. So select all these, make sure they are all selected, and assign them to the steel columns. Ten by hundred. That'll be ten by hundred. Um, that's. I got this in three D now. Seems like we're cooking. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so we have done the properties. Um, let's do let's do the supports. Now the supports here um, pinned. Assuming the pin supports are the column bases. So using this icon here, support page. Um, create pin add. Still highlighted using a pin node, select the ones at the bottom. Press assign, yes. So that's fine. Um, so we did the supports. Um, now we get to. Oh, if you look at it in plan view, you, you realize that um, some the orientation of the columns have to change. So, what we need to do, side view, and select the roof and the first floor. Um, roof and the first floor will be, be set here. Yeah. And uh, create a section there. Select the view. Bam, 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 bam. View highlighted, okay. Alright. Okay. Um, let's go to the property page, beta angle, create beta angle, and we want it to turn 90 degrees. We will create another one, and that will be okay at 0 degrees. Um, select the beta 90, go to select, selection will be in parallel to the y direction, and 
the side. Okay. Now these two beams, these two columns have to be readjusted so to the zero direction. So if you if it right click, go to structure diagrams, first section, press OK. You zoom in, you can see the orientation of the columns. I'm going to stop here for now and return to continue this. Bye.